Good morning everyone, it is The Wanderer. Now, yesterday, a little bit of story time, I made my way over to Argos at the Forbury Retail Park. You know the one, the one that's close to Reading Prison, the one made famous when Banksy decided to pay an overnight visit and paint the town with Oscar Wilde. That's the one. Anyway, after I left there, I thought, I'm gonna walk a place where I've never really been before, sort of the, the back area, and I found myself at Blake's Lock. Now, the last time I came to Blake's Lock would have been when I was in primary school, a school trip to Blake's Lock Museum. If you're a Reading kid, you know the one. Anyway, with that being said, I've turned, it turns out, there's some kind of boat slash restaurant slash bar slash hotel behind here known as the Bell and the Dragon. And I'm gonna go in there today to see how their fish and chips holds up because I read the menu. It looks very, very much like the way Zest did their fish and chips. And if you remember, Zest is the only perfect 20 on the channel. So let's see how it compares. With that being said, guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified as to when I upload more videos. I haven't got my camera uh, cameraman with me today, so it's a front facing camera. The bell is either there or there. I'm the wanderer, let's make a move. Okay, so I have just found one of the few places closest to me that actually does Asahi Super Dry on tap. Honestly, I am a very, very happy bunny at the moment. In there, it looks absolutely wonderful. You go in the vibe and it's just, I don't know, you compare the outside to the inside and you personally wouldn't see it coming. Now, as I said, I'm already going to be going for, it's going to be a zest comparison. I am going to be going for the uh, beer battered haddock with triple cooked chips, crushed minted peas. Haven't had crushed minted peas since the zest day, so I'm excited. Tartar sauce and the lemon. I've decided to take it outside because it is very, very quiet. And uh, yeah, I have to say, I'm really looking forward to this one. But with that being said, I do think the gentleman who served me in there had an Australian accent. So it's currently 9pm in Sydney. On tap, that is beautiful. You right there, folks? I'm ready to uh, order, if that's okay. Um, in one of the, uh, the booths out there, the one, uh, the uh, let's see. So where those group are, I'm about behind the stairs, that side. I can't remember the number. Sorry. Uh, can I go for um, a beer battered haddock, please? And that'll be uh, that'll be all for now. Cheers. 
Uh, I think I've uh, got a tab already with um, with a beer on it, so I'll add it to that. No worries, thank you. All right then everyone, so it's ordered. I was sat here for a little bit. I actually thought uh, they were gonna come to me and take the order. After 20 minutes, I decided I'll go in there and I'll order it myself, and I think that is the way it is, it is done here. Service, now if it was the gentleman who served me the Asahi, I would have easily gone five, like total, full on attention, um, really friendly, asking me like, uh, I told him like, oh yeah, Asahi on tap, and I had the uh, app, he knew the app, so he's like, yeah, the guy knew what he was talking about, really friendly. Second guy who served me, also very, very, very friendly, but again, just did the sort of, the basics, you know, the comparison between the two, they were both very friendly, but the guy who served the beer was on another level. I do think, with that being said, because they were all very, very good, I do think I do want to give the service a five, like, because they have made me feel very, very welcome. Um, so now we wait, so you saw that order go, it was 25 past 12. Uh, let's see how long it takes for the fish and chips. Okay then everyone, so it's arrived and I have to say I'm incredibly shocked, it came in 8 minutes. Now considering what I've ordered, 8 minutes is is pretty, pretty fast. That is a 5 on the time, we got a 5 service, now remember, Zest was 5 across the board. But let's rate the presentation. One thing I can say for sure is the smell really, really hits you. Um, we'll start off as we usually do, one of the chips, the triple cook chip, really, really chunky. Let's make a start on this one. I have to say, not a bad chip, not a bad chip. May have had better. Um, does taste like very much like an oven chip. Maybe it's the way they do it. it does taste like an oven chip. Presentation, by the way. Um, it looks really good. Not a fan of the um, rusty looking bucket, it has to be said. I think presentation, I'm going to go give that a four. Presentation four. Let's get the chips where they belong, on the plate. But yeah, chip was, chip's okay. I mean, it's not bad, but it just feels like I can buy this kind of chip somewhere else. I think we will now try though some of the peas, minted peas. Haven't had these since Zest. Let's give it a go. Very, very full. Mm. Now though, those are some top quality peas. Yep, it's mint. It's the kind of mint you can get in those. It's a different kind of mint to the Zest. Um, so literally it's like bean beans peas sorry smothered in the mint sauce you know like those dark green jars nothing wrong with that I really really like that let's get a bit of the tartar sauce on its own and that's a really really strong strong tartar sauce really good like that I'll smother it on the fish shortly but I've got to have the fish on its own so let's break it up a little bit we've gone for the haddock really really stiff oh there we go Ooh. Well, that's not a bad, that is not a bad chunk of fish, if I do say so. But as good as it looks, does it taste as a good? Let's go for it. Nice and crispy on the outside. I have to say, I want to get a bit of that fish on its own because I didn't catch too much in the way of flavour, I have to say. It is nice, but there's not much of a punch. We'll smother some tartar sauce on it, I think.
Okay, second piece of fish now with the tartar sauce addition. Of course, it improves it, but not to the level I was really hoping, I have to say. I've gone in with comparisons to Zest. I'll finish it and let you know how it, how it is. It doesn't change the fact that the place here is really nice, the staff are fantastic, but I'll tell you more when we're done. Well, what do we make of that one then, guys? Well, I have to say, um, hmm, very, very interesting. Uh, I'll give you the taste score in a second. It was all looking very, very well and good at the start with the service and the time that it came uh, until I took the first bite. And the chip, I have to say, very, very plain. I feel like there were chips you could buy anywhere. The fish, I was really looking forward to it because you could smell it. You could smell it, it was smelt really nice, and then you bit into it, and I, I didn't taste a thing. Now. I don't know if it's just me, because last time out, when we went to the real Greek, when I realised that squid had no flavour, but I could taste everything else. The mint peas were really nice. Uh, they weren't as good as the zest ones, but they were some of the best peas that I've had on this channel. Probably the second best, let's be honest. Um, I have to say, taste didn't leave the best impression in my mouth. I'm going to say taste three. Uh, I'm going to give the taste a three. Uh, which I believe brings the grand total out to 17 out of 20. Uh, would I come here again? Uh, it's hard to say because 17 is a good score, but you don't just go to a place because the staff are really nice. You want the food to be better, and I don't think it was that good. Um, it was very, very average, I guess you could say. Uh, so that is the Bell and the Dragon. Um, yeah, I mean, interesting location, but definitely better places out there. Uh, with that being said, guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified when I upload new stuff. I'm The Wanderer, and until next time, bye for now.